Unlimited's mission is to reach out and unleash the energies of people who want to make the world a better place. Unlimited have been for the last seven, eight years working across the UK with the education sector and colleges in particular to influence how they deliver entrepreneurship education and specifically to embed social entrepreneurship within that agenda. By 2020, the CBI predict that over 50% of the workforce will be either freelance or self-employed, which means it's vitally important to have support for those learners and for those people in the community that want to start a, a social enterprise. Unlimited have got a key focus on social entrepreneurs, particularly young social entrepreneurs. I think they're important because it gives something back to the community. It's not about profit, it's what you do with that profit. What we've been trying to do is to give them a greater understanding about what social entrepreneurship means and to be able to offer solutions to staff in understanding what social entrepreneurship is by offering CPD sessions so that they can include that and find ways of embedding social entrepreneurship within their curriculum, within their activities, within their programmes and strategy. We were, we were conscious that the education establishment hasn't got all the answers. So we tried to create an ecosystem of support. So we had staff within college, we had community advocates, we had volunteers, and all this has been done with unlimited advice and guidance. And the whole education framework is now feeling a bit more connected to this wider community. Across the country we had FE pioneers who are colleges who want to do something entrepreneurial in their community and add some extra value to the education of their students. And now we're looking to work with partners to fund and support young people to set up their own social ventures. My name is Lee Williams and I run a um, cleaning company called Made in Wheels. The support that I've had is, is tremendous. For example, with the unlimited funding, we've set up a, a project which is called Live, Listen and Learn. And that basically is we will set up a lesson plan free of charge and literally teach children how to clean, look after themselves because you'd be surprised how many don't know how to do it. So there's a lot of ways that we can support social entrepreneurs. So we offer workshops, so they're either idea generation or they're about developing your sales skills, presentation skills. We couldn't do that without having the brilliant partners like Unlimited and everyone else within that ecosystem that can help us to develop these young people. They provide excellent advice, guidance and support, but also they've given us corn seed funding that we can work with young people with some real outcomes. Hi, my name is Andrew Cronin. I'm head coach and founder from AMI in Movement. I run free running parkour classes around South Wales. We try and uh, provide free running parkour to schools. Yeah. Within that, then they can actually be a part of the community. When I first started with Living Limited, I was funded, but with that, I actually had a mentor and it, it helped so much develop what I needed to do within my company. Quite a few of the young people that I used to see within the further education environment hadn't had a positive role model or they hadn't actually heard about the opportunities that they potentially could have. Although they may see a need for a social enterprise, they don't always know what to do really, so the mentorship is crucial. I think the first thing you have to do is kind of break through that confidence barrier and then you can just run with it and do literally whatever you want, I think. We want it to become more mainstream, we want to get a social enterprise embedded into the curriculum and be a core part of what young people do. Hopefully the next generation will be the ones that will really have a changed attitude, a different approach and a more positive ideas about what's important and what's needed for the future.